Everybody, this is Danny Mullen, supreme commander of the Danny Mullen regime. I've called this town hall meeting a little early. I know videos typically go up on Friday now because of the existence of a new sunfish. You might have heard about this on the Leo and Danny show podcast, but the situation has evolved. I've reviewed the footage that incited the incident, and we're going to First of all, I will say, there is no Friday video on the main channel this week. Why? I was planning to do a live next week, but the realities of the video we shot last weekend, which is a documentary on the fallen YouTuber Overboard Humor, that has become such a long project that I thought it better just to take my bye week, to use football terminology, this week and put out the Overboard doc, which requires a lot more care in the edit because it's going to be a very special video. I thought it better to put out that next week. Overboard humor went from making 400 grand a year, having millions of subscribers, to now living in a tent by a river in rural Orange County. He's homeless. I thought he might be addicted to drugs. I didn't know if he was mentally ill. I went down there to find all that out. It is a really special, heartwarming thing. And something of a relationship was forged between myself and Overboard Humor. A sexual relationship, that's not true. But we got along really well. The guy's not on drugs. I'm bringing him into the Danny Mullen fold. And this whole story will be told next week. But I couldn't keep you guys from getting the dirt on the sunfish incident. Let me set this up. Overboard Humor was famous in 2014 for something called comment trolling, which is where his fans would leave him a sentence filled with obscenity underneath his YouTube videos. I'm going to throw a porcupine covered in jizz into a kindergarten. My grandma says, says, says I give the best rim jobs in all of southern Arkansas. Something to that effect. The theme being to resurrect Overboard's career, I thought it only natural to revisit his comment troll and glory days. So I had some fans tweet me some offensive shit, and we took it to Huntington Beach. One of the phrases was something about, well, you're going to see it right now. This is the approach that ignited the sunfish incident. Austin, turn the monitor toward me and let it play. Sorry, guys. Our budget's not real uh, strong right now when it comes to podcasting. i got to do it a little ghetto. Austin's got an angle. Get shitty computer my way. I'm going to suck, suck off a rattlesnake, rattlesnake two, two koalas, koalas and, finish and finish inside, inside of a mountain. Of, oh. I will, I will finish inside, inside of a fucking mountain. I think that, I think that one was too far. Too far. Hey, I'm, hey sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This, this, was, a this was a joke. This was a joke. Yeah, no, that's disgusting. I, 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 disagree, I disagree, but it was a joke. A joke. <laughs> That'll do, Wasty. Let me know when I'm back on screen. Am I back? I made the woman uncomfortable. And I get it. I'm talking about blowing rattlers, koalas. I could barely get out the line about finishing in the mountain goat because I, I thought it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, this sentence right here made this woman very uncomfortable. And I get it. I think she overreacted. There was no threat against her. If my girlfriend... Recently, my girlfriend said a big black dude approached her on the beach and started asking how big my dick was and asked her if she wanted some big black fucking cock up in her guts. And my girlfriend took that pretty well and thought it was funny. So I think she did overreact a little bit here, but I totally understand why somebody could get upset. We filmed some other bits, some involving Tito Ortiz, ex-UFC light heavyweight champion, now a politician, Met up with him, avenged a homeless guy who got kicked out of a burger joint for wearing a Trump hat. That didn't sit right with Papa Mullen. And uh, as we were walking back to our car, almost done for the day, the sunfish approaches. Now, before you let this roll, Austin, because we have footage of the sunfish interaction. 
I will say that I apologize to him. He was married to the woman who I really upset in the last scene with the koala comment. Oh yeah, and by the way, the koala comment was sent in to me by Austin. A fucking, get this. Austin won't even make eye contact with me right now. He's had one of his late night, my, what do you, what's the game you play? RuneScape. He's had one of his late night RuneScape benders. Okay, 50% of the days he comes in here so stoned he can't operate the keyboard, and the other half the time it's RuneScape. <laughs> Up for like an 18-hour marathon, not getting any sleep. I know when he's not making eye contact with me when I mention him that it's going to be a long fucking broadcast. A 13-year-old gave me that comment, by the way. I was going to call him live on the podcast, but it seems so inappropriate to have a uh, middle school kid telling me about sucking off snakes. Back to the goddamn sunfish. I told him, hey, dude, I totally understand why you're upset, why your wife's upset, and I apologize. Out of context, that was inappropriate, obscene, but for my channel, my philosophy is when I go up and I upset these people, that I'm making so many other people worldwide happy that it's okay if I occasionally fend, offend the woman reading a book on the beach. And I apologized right after. You can see I said I'm sorry. And it's not like we're doing a, a, a fake rape attack in shopping center after midnight prank. We broke into a sorority house with a knife and made girls think we were going to kill them. These aren't... Uh, it's fucking broad daylight. I'm talking about having sex with a mountain. You can't, I couldn't catch a mountain goat. Have you seen how agile those things are on the side of a peak? Incredible. So it was clearly... I, I still apologized. But where the sunfish became the sunfish is in the clip you're about to see. And Austin, I might have you play this back a couple times. I watched it a few last night, and I got more and more angry every time I watched. The Sunfish people, just a very brief preface, is advising me, Danny Mullen, the commander-in-chief of the Danny Mullen regime, how to make his content. He insults me, and by insulting me, he insults all of you. Let it roll, Austin. Let me see it, though, while it plays. And make sure, Austin, in the comments, they're hearing the audio off these clips, too. I want to make sure. All right, I mean, dude, at the end of the day, it's your content, it's your channel. It is your brand that you're promoting. I would just implore you, if you want to last long in this industry, to really think about... I guarantee I make more money than you in this industry, so I don't know if I feel like getting patronized right now. Okay, well, um, <laughs> look, I don't, I don't talk money. All right, I'll just, okay. we do well for ourselves. Okay. I respect where you're coming from, man. Okay. And, uh, listen, I, I wish you all the best. Okay. But, you know, I, I would think about the way you approach people. Okay. Well, we have different philosophies of business and content creation, then. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it up to your viewers. I think we'll probably cut most of this, but I'll leave it up to them to decide, especially if you throw that clip in, okay. whether that's appropriate to be going up to people. That's, okay. you know, who they want to be modeling themselves after, because it just seems, seems like low tier content. Yeah, I, uh, no, it's not. It's, it's very good content. The smarminess, Austin, the condescension. I might have you play it a couple more times. When he, when I tell him I guarantee I make more money than him, so I don't have, feel like getting patronized to, the shitty little chuckle, the sneer, the looking at his buddy, the, <laughs> we, <laughs> you have 4,000, Austin bought me a pack of Skittles, I was snacking on those, Austin, there are a lot of yellows and oranges in here, by the way, and that's going to come out of your paycheck, I wanted more purple and reds. You have 4,000 subs on YouTube and 9,000 on Instagram. You do pretty well for yourself? You're going to walk up to me blindly with that attitude? Buddy, I'm with you. on. I will shake your hand and apologize if I see you again about upsetting your wife. But walking up to Danny Mullen and using the words low-tier content while maintaining eye contact is grounds for getting yourself on the rack. You know the rack, Austin? I think it's something in medieval Europe that stretched you a lot. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. The rack is necessary here. And with that social media following, we're going to dive into the kind of content he makes. Don't you worry your pretty little heads. How is he making his money? 
Unless, here are my theories, Austin. Is covering himself in maple syrup and masturbating in front of rich Orange County businessmen. That's my only theory. He claims that he does, like, internet fitness counseling for people and gives them advice over Zoom. What does he counsel them on? How to have not very many subscribers? How? How is this guy? I saw his wife's channel, too. She's offering people advice on how to succeed in business with 54 views per video. It is absurd, Austin. It's like... It's like if Chad Kroger from Nickelback walked up to Keith Richards and started telling him about how to play the blues better. Is that his name, Chad Kroger? I have no idea. It's like if a middle school football coach wrote a letter to Bill Belichick telling him about how to run a better Tampa 2 cover scheme. It's a disgrace. And I was going to let this go. I was going to completely let this go. But when I, can you play the clip again, Austin, the second half of the clip? Look at his face, my loyal Danny Mullen followers, when he's telling yours truly. Not even, talking about how he does well for himself, clearly thinking in his head, oh, this fucking bitch. The numbers this guy's got to be doing with this kind of content, wrong. And I'm so glad that the Danny Mullen army quickly made it known that, hey, buddy, this content ain't low tier. And our force is one to be reckoned with. Let it play, Austin, one more time. Long in this industry, it is your brand that you're promoting. Oh. I would just implore you, if you want to last long in this industry, oh my. to really think about... I guarantee I make more money than you in this industry, so I don't know if I feel like getting patronized right now. Okay, well, um... <laughs> look, I don't, I don't talk money. All right, I'll just... Okay. We do well for ourselves. Okay. I respect where you're coming from, man. Okay. And, uh... Listen, I, I wish you all the best. Okay. But, you know, I, I would think about the way you approach people. Okay. Well, we have different philosophies of business and content creation then. Yeah. I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it up to your viewers. I think we'll probably cut most of this, but I'll leave it up to them to decide, especially if we throw that clip in, okay. whether that's appropriate to be going up to people. Uh, you cut it, Austin. I don't talk numbers. I don't talk money. Yeah, real convenient when you have 4,000 subscribers. That's like if I were a pro boxer, Austin. And I went up to a promoter. Hey, man, I want to fight this Saturday on the card. Okay, what's your record? I don't talk records. I, I don't talk records. It's like if you went for a job fucking editing video somewhere. All right, let's see your portfolio. Oh, I don't, I don't talk portfolio and past work. If you're going to come up to me with your chest puffed out, talk numbers, talk content flaw, talk about lasting in this industry, the audacity. You aren't even a tadpole in this industry. You're an amoeba four billion years ago floating around the Pacific Ocean in this industry. You're a droplet of sperm and a 13-year-old's nutsack who is just now hitting puberty in this industry. Weightlifting? If I could fire into space, Austin, one genre of YouTube content creation, it would be the weightlifting. Look, oh, there's something heavy right there? I picked it up. You know what else can pick up and move heavy shit? An ox. An ox could do this guy's job. A chimpanzee can do it even better. And more true to human form. If you put a chimpanzee in one of those morph suits with little balls on it that they use to get the moves down for Tony Hawk Pro Skater and all those video games, you could just fucking motion track that shit, put up a YouTube video, and people could learn how to work out from an orangutan. And it would be better than the service Willie G Fitness has to offer. It would be better. Austin, go to the timestamp on the video I had pulled up to. The main YouTube video. We're not done. We're not done. I did not think I was going to get this upset. I did not think it. I meditated today. I was really trying to mellow out. Let it play, Austin. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Go, Maria. Go. Press pause. All right, so. This guy is an imbecile. <laughs> He's a git. Did you see that? The go Maria. Go Maria. He's a dunce. He's a dunce, Austin. He's a dunce. I, okay, if, 
I'm sorry, man. If you're not jerking off in front of rich guys or selling steroids, if that's not the backbone of your business, which I guarantee it is if you actually do make money, maybe he does have a couple rich clients and he helps them out and he makes six figures a year, which I still, I'm, I'm sure I make more than him. But even if he does somehow make more than me, which he doesn't, as a man, he will never be superior to me based on that clip. Oh, go, Maria. Go, Maria. I'm going to throw another Skittle across the room. Listen to me right here, Sunfish. Listen to me. For all my antics, for all the clips of me drunk and throwing up and dressed as a bat, I am a very traditional comedy performer. I've been studying this for fucking eight years nonstop. Reading Infinite Jest, really hardcore comedy works, taking improv classes tirely, watching Carlin, Louis C.K., the best, writing every single day. I work a 14-hour day each day to make sure I'm the best performer I can possibly be. As you found out, I have an army of people who, I, they might be willing to die for me, Austin. They are the most lethal force on YouTube as far as their zero tolerance policy when it comes to bullshit. My fans, and I fucking love them. I am qualified to say to you, Willie G Fitness, that you're not gonna make it. That you don't have what it takes. Go Maria, go Maria. You're a failure. You don't have a performance-oriented bone in your body. This industry ain't for you. It's not for you. So give up before you continue making a fool of yourself to friends and family all over social media. And this brings me to another point, Austin. I'm pretty much done with the sunfish now. Some highlights of this might end up in next week's video when you're going to see the larger context of what's going on. But this brings me to a little lesson. Phoniness. I want to talk about phoniness. Because... In this guy's Instagram posts and stories in response to this situation, he was playing the victim. He was playing the, oh, all I did was stick up for my wife on the beach when she thought she was in danger. And I hope that through this ordeal, I can teach my fans that positivity always wins. Hashtag, and this is was physically Attached to the post, Austin. Hashtag women's rights. Oh my God. Hashtag women's rights. Here's the deal with Willie. If you get a couple Coors Lights in him and the cameras are off, I'm sure he's a cool guy. I'm sure he's a normal guy. I'm sure just like me, definitely Austin, he has the occasional xenophobic racist thought. <laughs> Even though he's in a relationship, he covets flesh that walks by on the street. And I'm sure that if it became publicly available, what he was searching on Pornhub, he would want to die like the rest of us. Skinny teen licks big black dick's asshole. Uh, midget girl watches as white guy vomits into Latina pussy. And I'm just going off what I searched this morning before this podcast. But he, unlike me, would never admit this. He's out there, oh, women's rights. Oh, go Maria, go Maria. If you fast forward to that end of that YouTube video, Austin, he does the Fan Jerry sign off. Where, Well, first of all, his sign on is, what's up, Iron Family? I hope you're all getting to your goals or some equally shitty little phrase. And then at the end, he does the Fan Jerry peace sign where he covers the camera. Which, every time somebody does that, I wish the camera were electrocuted and they would just receive like a 20,000 volt shock for trying to cover the camera like a YouTube vlogger in 2006. I wish. I wish instead of a lens there were a cattle prod on the front of the, front of the Sonys. I genuinely fucking wish that. But I digress. That era is over. The, oh, I don't talk about politics. I don't talk about religion. I'll talk about sports. Oh, yeah. Uh, just the, the right down the middle. Nothing controversial. It doesn't work on the internet. It doesn't work in life. Let me tell you a quick little story. I have a buddy named Brandon who I was classmates with at UCLA. 
Him and I were both North Campus majors, history. We had all the same classes. We were study partners. We worked really hard. We both got great fucking grades. This kid came from an exceptional Jewish family all of his life. Prep school, SAT, tutor classes, fucking shoe into UCLA. Got out of UCLA, went to Berkeley Law School while I was slaving away in kitchens trying to make my art a reality. Not bad, right? Berkeley. Hell, most people would cut off their testicles when they're applying to law school to get into Berkeley Law. Because at that point, you can all but waltz into the biggest law firms in the world, and you're guaranteed a big paycheck. Well, Brandon messaged me recently and said he's working 15-hour, 14-hour days, which I am too. But the difference between me and him is his 14-hour days are miserable. He did everything he was supposed to do in life. He played it straight. He had a very conservative Instagram, not politically conservative, because, of course, that would lose you a job nowadays. I mean, very unoffensive Instagram. I'm sure there's uh, the little cube you're supposed to post for Black Lives Matter that everybody posted because they were afraid they're going to lose their job. I'm sure there's, uh, I I don't even fucking know what else, like a goodbye post to Obama when Obama left office. Like, oh, this is such a hard goodbye for our office. Just any box you have to check in case an HR representative at your office looks at your profile, this guy does. This guy does. And what happens now? He messaged me, says he's fucking miserable. He's trying to start some sort of social media app. He's asking me about comedy. He wants my life. My sister went to a top 20 law school, not as good as Cal, but a great law school, worked at a big firm making 300 grand a year until she burned out. And now she still has 150, 200 grand worth of debt left. And she told me at her wedding, she wants out of law. What the adults have always been telling you, kiddos. Oh, go to college, get a good job. It's fucking wrong. The emperor has no clothes. If that's a phrase that applies here, I don't know. I just say shit. It doesn't work anymore. Middle of the road doesn't work in life. It doesn't work. It especially doesn't work in content creation. In the 80s and 90s, when there were four fucking TV channels, and The Tonight Show and The Simpsons were broadcasting to fucking 89 million people, you had to be a little middle of the road. You couldn't throw out the very offensive jokes, excepting some very quality TV programs that did it intelligently. You had to be, what I'm getting at, like Willie G Fitness. But now, it ain't about width. It's about fucking depth. I'm as deep as the Mariana Trench. That is the universe that the Danny Mullen regime has created. And Willie G Fitness is as deep as a little puddle of sweat that drops off Charles Barkley's eyebrow and lands on the basketball court. That's how deep his content is. It ain't gonna last. So get out of this business, buddy. How about that for some advice? Roles are reversed here. Get out of this business. You're wasting your time. You're wasting everybody else's time. Even though your only audience members are other fitness influencers just trying to engage with you for the social networking. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm fucking done with the sunfish. He did, uh, like, what is it, private his Instagram? Not private, but he temporarily shut his Instagram off, if you didn't know. Yeah, and it's not even my goal right now to, ha- to, to bother him or to harass him. The goal is just to let him know that he fucked up. That's basically what this comes <laughs> I would probably go buy, uh, buy the guy a beer tonight. If he just admitted, A, that he fucked up, and B, that he was a sunfish. That's all it takes. That's all it takes.